Quantum computing is a relatively new field of research that combines principles from quantum mechanics and computer science to create a new type of computer that has the potential to revolutionize many industries. While traditional computers use binary digits, or bits, to represent information, quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, which can be in multiple states at once. One of the key concepts in quantum mechanics is superposition, which means that a quantum system can exist in multiple states at the same time. For example, an electron can have multiple energy states simultaneously, which is known as a quantum superposition. In quantum computing, qubits can also exist in a superposition of states, which means that they can represent both 0 and 1 at the same time. Another important concept in quantum mechanics is entanglement, which is a phenomenon where two or more particles become linked in such a way that the state of one particle depends on the state of the other. In quantum computing, entanglement allows qubits to become correlated with each other in a way that allows certain types of computations to be performed much more efficiently than with classical computers. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize many industries by solving problems that are intractable with classical computers. For example, quantum computers could be used to design more efficient batteries or to simulate complex chemical reactions to develop new drugs. Additionally, quantum computers could be used to break classical encryption methods, which would have significant implications for cybersecurity. To understand how quantum computers work, it's helpful to compare them to classical computers. In classical computing, information is stored in bits, which can be either 0 or 1. For example, a light switch can be either on or off, representing a 0 or 1 respectively. In contrast, in quantum computing, information is stored in qubits, which can be in a superposition of states. For example, a qubit can be in a state that represents both 0 and 1 at the same time, known as a quantum superposition. One way to think about quantum superpositions is to imagine a spinning coin. When a coin is spinning, it is in a superposition of states. It can be either heads or tails, but it is both at the same time until it comes to rest. Similarly, a qubit can be in a superposition of states until it is measured, at which point it collapses into either a zero or one. In addition to superposition, another key concept in quantum mechanics is entanglement. Entanglement is a phenomenon where two or more particles become linked in such a way that the state of one particle depends on the state of the other. For example, imagine two entangled coins that are flipped at the same time. Even if the coins are separated by a great distance, if one coin lands heads, the other coin will always land tails, and vice versa. In quantum computing, Entanglement allows qubits to become correlated with each other in a way that allows certain types of computations to be performed much more efficiently than with classical computers. This is because entanglement allows multiple qubits to be in a superposition of states simultaneously, which can be used to perform multiple computations at once. One example of a problem that can be solved more efficiently with a quantum computer than with a classical computer is factoring large numbers. Factoring is the process of finding the prime factors of a number, and it is an important problem in cryptography. Public key encryption methods, such as RSA, rely on the fact that factoring large numbers is extremely difficult for classical computers. However, quantum computers can use an algorithm called Shor's algorithm to factor large numbers exponentially faster than classical computers. This is because Shor's algorithm takes advantage of the quantum properties of superposition and entanglement to simultaneously evaluate many possible solutions to the problem of factoring a large number. Another example of a problem that can be solved more efficiently with a quantum computer is the simulation of quantum systems. Many important problems in chemistry and materials science involve the behavior of large numbers of interacting particles, such as electrons. Simulating the behavior of these particles using classical computers can be extremely computationally intensive, but quantum computers can use algorithms like the quantum Monte Carlo method to simulate quantum systems much more efficiently. However, while quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize many industries, there are also significant challenges to developing practical quantum computers. One major challenge is the issue of decoherence which is the tendency of quantum systems to interact with their environment and lose their quantum properties. Decoherence can cause errors in quantum computations and limit the number of qubits that can be reliably used in a quantum computer. Another challenge is the issue of error correction. 
Because quantum systems are inherently fragile and prone to errors, quantum computers will require sophisticated error correction techniques to ensure that computations are performed correctly. However, current error correction methods require a large number of qubits to be devoted to error correction, which can limit the computational power of a quantum computer. Despite these challenges, there has been significant progress in the development of practical quantum computers in recent years. In 2019, Google announced that it had achieved quantum supremacy with its 53-qubit quantum computer, which was able to perform a computation that would have taken a classical computer tens of thousands of years to complete. Other companies and research institutions, such as IBM and Microsoft, are also working on developing practical quantum computers. In addition to developing practical quantum computers, there is also ongoing research into the development of quantum algorithms and applications. For example, researchers are exploring the use of quantum machine learning algorithms to solve problems in fields like computer vision and natural language processing. There is no consensus among experts as to whether quantum computers pose a significant danger, but there are some potential risks that have been identified. One potential risk is that quantum computers could break encryption algorithms that are used to secure sensitive data. For example, many online banking transactions and communications are secured using public key cryptography, which relies on the fact that factoring large numbers is difficult for classical computers. However, quantum computers can use an algorithm called Shor's algorithm to factor large numbers exponentially faster than classical computers. This means that a quantum computer could potentially break the encryption used to secure these transactions and communications. Another potential risk is that quantum computers could be used to create new types of powerful weapons. For example, a quantum computer could be used to optimize the design of nuclear weapons, or to develop new types of materials for use in weapons. Finally, there is a concern that quantum computers could be used to undermine the security of blockchain technology. Blockchain technology is used in many cryptocurrencies, and it relies on the fact that it is computationally difficult to reverse transactions. However, a quantum computer could potentially be used to perform a type of attack called a quantum 51% attack, which would allow an attacker to reverse transactions and potentially steal funds. Despite these potential risks, many experts believe that the benefits of quantum computing far outweigh the risks. Additionally, it is worth noting that quantum computers are still in the early stages of development, and it may be many years before they become powerful enough to pose a significant danger. Furthermore, researchers are actively working on developing quantum-resistant encryption algorithms and other technologies that can help mitigate the risks associated with quantum computing. Quantum computers have the potential to break the cryptographic algorithms that are used to secure cryptocurrencies, but the extent to which they can actually be used to hack cryptocurrencies depends on a number of factors. Many cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, use cryptographic algorithms such as the Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm ECDSA, to secure transactions. These algorithms rely on the difficulty of solving certain mathematical problems, such as the discrete logarithm problem, which are currently believed to be difficult for classical computers to solve. However, Quantum computers can use an algorithm called Shor's algorithm to factor large numbers and solve certain mathematical problems exponentially faster than classical computers. This means that a powerful enough quantum computer could potentially be used to break the encryption used by cryptocurrencies. That being said, the development of practical quantum computers that are powerful enough to break current encryption standards is still in the early stages and it may be many years before they become powerful enough to pose a significant threat to cryptocurrencies. Additionally, many researchers and developers are actively working on developing new quantum-resistant cryptographic algorithms that could be used to secure cryptocurrencies even in the face of quantum attacks. So, while it is possible that quantum computers could be used to hack cryptocurrencies in the future, there are also efforts underway to mitigate this risk and it remains to be seen how significant a threat this will be in practice. Quantum computer already exist? Yes, quantum computers already exist, but they are still in the early stages of development and are not yet as powerful as many experts believe they could eventually become. Several research institutions, government agencies, and companies around the world are currently developing and testing quantum computers. Some of the most well-known players in the field include IBM, 
Google, Microsoft, and Rigetti Computing, among others. These companies and organizations have built and are continuing to build quantum computers with increasingly larger numbers of qubits, which are the basic building blocks of quantum computing. In 2019, Google claimed to have achieved quantum supremacy with a 53 qubit quantum computer that was able to perform a calculation that would have taken a classical computer tens of thousands of years to complete. However, it is worth noting that these quantum computers are still in the early stages of development and are not yet capable of performing many of the types of computations that researchers believe they could eventually be used for. Additionally, quantum computers are still subject to errors and decoherence, which can limit their ability to perform reliable computations. So while quantum computers do exist, they are still in the early stages of development and it may be many years before they are powerful enough to revolutionize many industries as some experts believe they eventually could. Quantum computers are being developed by a wide range of organizations around the world, including government agencies, research institutions, and private companies. Some of the most well-known organizations involved in the development of quantum computers include IBM. IBM has been working on quantum computing for several years and has made significant progress in developing quantum hardware and software. In 2019, IBM announced a roadmap for developing a 1,000 qubit quantum computer. Google. Google's quantum computing program, known as Google Quantum AI has been developing quantum processors and algorithms since 2006. In 2019, Google announced that it had achieved quantum supremacy with a 53-qubit quantum computer. Microsoft Microsoft has been working on quantum computing since 2005 and has developed a software platform for quantum programming called Q-Hash, pronounced Q-Sharp. Rigetti Computing Rigetti Computing is a startup that is focused on building a cloud-based quantum computing platform. The company has developed a 16-qubit quantum processor and is working on scaling up its hardware. IONQ IONQ is a startup that is developing a trapped ion quantum computer. The company has developed a 32-qubit quantum processor and is working on building larger systems. Alibaba Alibaba has a quantum computing program that is focused on developing quantum algorithms and applications for quantum computing. Canadian Government The Canadian government has invested heavily in quantum computing and has developed a national quantum computing program called Quantum Canada. Chinese Government The Chinese government has also invested heavily in quantum computing and has developed a national quantum computing program called Quantum Experiments at Space Scale Quest. These are just a few examples of the many organizations that are involved in the development of quantum computers. As the field continues to grow, it is likely that more organizations will become involved in the development of quantum hardware and software. In conclusion, quantum computing is a rapidly evolving field with the potential to revolutionize many industries. Quantum computers use qubits, which can be in a superposition of states and become entangled with each other. To perform certain types of computations much more efficiently than classical computers. While there are significant challenges to developing practical quantum computers, there has been significant progress in recent years and ongoing research into quantum algorithms and applications.